Okay, so I'm going to use some of this cook and spray to spray some pizza pans really quick. I'm going to make the three pizzas that my wife usually has us make. Got a crispy one. And then some regulars. So I'm just going to hit it with some cook and spray really quick. And then I have some corn flour, not corn meal, but uh, corn flour here. And I'm just going to dust my pans with it. Corn flour is better than corn meal. I come to find out it's not so pretty on the bottom of the yeah, it gives it good flavor without the grittiness. Definitely true. So I'm going to move back something like that. Alright, so I got my pans ready. I'm going to put those off to the side. Let's look at the dough. It's already doubled in size in the pot, it looks like to me. But yeah, still look at the texture of it. Doesn't look like the bread that we usually make. This is the one that we push down. I have to agree with you that this one here looks more like the one you usually see come out of your kitchen. It's a loaf of bread. We'll just have the kids say that they love to play with the bread. So it looks like we're about ready. We can eat that. Yeah, I just scrape it down to the bottom of the thing and pick it up like this. And if it's still sticky, I just get a little flour, cornmeal on my hand, on the sticky part, and then fold it in. I'm letting my husband do the rolling out of the dough because he's much better at it than I am. Yeah, I'm not a pizza dough tosser. I'm just a regular roller, roll it out kind of guy, I guess. And see, what I'm doing now is I'm conditioning this blob of dough to get rolled out. I don't want it to stick to my roller. So I'm just putting a little bit of cornmeal and flour on at a time, and I'm kneading it all in. See, I'm kneading it all in like that. So I'm stretching the glutens out. See, stretching. And if it's still sticky, I just go ahead and a little bit more on there and then when it all feels silky smooth and it's not sticky anymore we we'll stick it on the table right in the middle and I'll fist it. And if it gets a little sticky go ahead and take a little bit of my cornmeal and flour or corn flour excuse me and I'll just keep fisting it and I'll do it in a circular motion to push out the air bubbles see there's your basic little pizza dough right there but we like uh, extra Thin, extra crispy, extra delicious. So I'm going to keep on going with this. Just like that. Every once in a while I'll go like this to make sure it's not stuck to the table. Add some more flour if I need it. And once I get it so far, I'll go ahead and take my roller. I don't ever wash it in the water so it doesn't uh, have any of those raised grains. It's not the roller I choose, but this will work. So I'm put the roller in the middle of the dough, and I'm going to work my way out all the way around. That way, I'll double work the dough because the more you work the dough, the tougher it's going to get. A little sticky right there, so I'm going to give it some flour. See, now I got this long pizza. All right, more flour. I'll stick it the roller back in the middle, and I'll roll it in the opposite direction. A little sticky there on the end. That's okay. More flour. I'll put it back in the middle and roll it in the other way, other direction. See, now I got a bigger pizza. Now we're just going to speed that up and just keep doing that until it's as big as the pizza pan.
or as thin as my wife likes it. And that's how I do it without twirling it in the air like everybody else does it. Let's go ahead and get a pizza pan here. Got my pizza pan ready. Uh, you can try to be brave and pick the whole thing up. But it might rip in the middle, so I like to uh, go ahead and fold it over once, fold it over twice, and then take my piece that I just folded over into a square, or a quarter of the pizza, and then unfold it back on the, the tray. And then just kind of stretch it out over the rim a little bit. Kind of like that. I'm going to take the scissors and cut off the extra. It all looks good and tastes great when it comes out in the end, so it's the only thing that really matters. And when I'm trimming this, I'm not going to trim it too close to the pan because the dough is going to want to shrink up a little bit. And there's my extra dough. We we'll usually turn it into breadsticks or another pizza. So, last trick. I don't have a roller with spikes on it, so I use a fork. And I'm going to do this to prevent the pizza from making giant blisters on it. In the oven. ready for topping, so I'm going to put off to the side. We're going to make the other pizzas. Okay. Let that moment. rest for a minute. <coughs> Alright, here's the other dough. I'm going to get my... Well, we're back on here, and my corn flour. You can see why my wife likes me to do this. More physical labor than she's willing to do. <laughs> I'm just playing sweetheart. I'm just going to go ahead and knead it in my hand like I talked to you guys before. You know, until it gets that silky texture and it's not sticky anymore. Just keep adding the cornmeal flour, corn flour, and wheat flour to it. So knead it in and under. Feels good to me. And start with the punch in the center to get the air bubbles out. Oh, a little sticky. And then just rotate around, work our way around, all the way around. Make sure you don't drip sweat on it, and we won't appreciate it. <laughs> sticky there. And I just worked out all of the air bubbles since we rolled it from the center. You see those guys or gals or kids trying to roll out some dough and they keep rolling the same piece back and forth, back and forth and it just gets tougher and tougher and the dough gets smaller and smaller so all the glutens get all tightened up. Okay.
top of a pine. <laughs> And we got the oven preheating. It's on its highest setting or near its highest setting. In five hundreds, I think. Go ahead and put some holes in it. And then with the last of the stuff, sometimes we make breadsticks and cover it in butter and cheese, or sometimes we'll go ahead and roll it out into a little tougher, crisper pizza. This one's definitely going to be tougher because remember it's already been worked twice. So, see how it just bounces right back. Not pretty, but it'll work. Yeah, it doesn't need to be perfect. None of these tough ones. It needs to be edible. And then I got it on my crispy pan with the little holes in it. Just go ahead and try to stretch it over. And this one we're not going to trim. Alright, let me clean this mess up and put some toppings on these beasts. And the toppings that we are going to use is cheese. You can use any kind of cheese we're using today. Mozzarella, some Monterey Jack, and Parmesan. Romano, yay! And we're going to use some pepperonis. My youngest son loves pepperonis. Talks about pepperoni pizza all the time. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make some cheese pizza and a pepperoni pizza. And my daughter loves the, just the cheese. 